All right, this is take two, and I'm gonna hope and try to keep this video nice, short, and simple for you guys. Here we are, my name is David De La Hoya. I have five years of industry experience. Um, the industry we're talking about today is the biomedical uh, field, technician field, HTM field. Um, there's many names for it, but I really just kind of making this video to summarize what we do um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And if, when it really comes down to it, when you boil it down, everything we repair install and fix medical devices um, typically in a hospital setting so what is a biomedical technician so as i mentioned earlier it really boils down to just fixing repairing and installing medical devices in a medical device setting for example in a hospital um, really the big three paths you can take is in-house biomed field service or uh, third-party service um, we can go more in that in that later on on separate videos but in-house biomed you're usually working in a hospital setting you work for the hospital or another organization that maintains the hospital f repairing and maintaining their devices and field service you're usually working for an OEM or another third party that comes in and fulfills the customer needs and repairs specialized equipment that you may be trained on that the general biomed isn't or there may not be a biomed present depending on the size of the facility and then third party is can be a lot of things really um, you can do in-house third party field service third party i'd love to make a separate video going more in debt and maybe even finding industry experts that would like to pitch in on some info about this topic my current title is a field engineer i strictly specialize in repairing and maintaining x-ray devices um, portable devices, digital rad rooms, you name it, fluoro. Um, haven't always done this for all five years, but I just now got into it in the last two, two to two years, actually. I almost said two to three, but really two years. I've enjoyed it, and I love to make a separate video to dig deep, deeper on why I chose to move to this modality. You typically need an associates in biomedical technology or biomedical electronics technology to give you the best leverage to find a job or break into the field. Um, another great option is military training, um, whether it's in biomed, which they do have biomed military training um, if you join the military. I'm not too familiar with that, but I do know that a lot of guys come out and join the field that way. Uh, another great option also is to do an apprenticeship with an OEM or even a third party and kind of get grandfathered in into the industry. Um, don't mean, don't know many guys have done that, but um, I'd love to speak further on it or maybe even find a few guys that kind of were grandfathered in or just kind of self-trained into the biomed industry. Four-year degrees aren't usually necessarily unless you want to break into management and director level positions. Um, I'm working on mine right now, my four-year degree, but that's just more of a personal development thing and um, kind of hacking my degree right now you could say i'd love to make another video on how to do that and save money and potentially even pay cash and avoid student loans for me what i really recommend and this is what i did it was just to get an associate of applied science and biomedical technology um, this has helped me break into the field and really this this school i chose was just tstc it has a really good history of keeping up with the industry and I think it's taught me everything I need and has actually helped me excel in, the, in my career in this industry. So I'm sure a lot of questions will come up in the comments and I'd be more than happy to create a video or even answer them for you. Um, I'd love to hear more about how you broke into the field or what if you're looking to get into the field, just I'm more than happy to answer any questions you guys may have. And thank you for watching. And this was just a general summary and I do plan on making more in-depth videos about other topics.